Hello you guys. I feel like I have there is so much on my mind that I need to tell you all and I don't have much time to do it Porter just woke up from his nap. He is like rolling around right now So I don't have much time to talk before I have to go get him but lots of things happening today Which is why I picked up the camera first off. We have Grayson I scheduled his three-year-old checkup at the doctor's office today. It was kind of like a last-minute um, appointment that I scheduled Another huge amount announcement. I was gonna do a video on it, but I'm just gonna tell you guys now. Anthony actually is um, accepted a new job. So he is leaving Honda he, after five years. And so um, this is his last week at Honda. And then he's gonna start a new job with L Brands working for Bath and Body Works. And so before our insurance switches over, I wanted to get Grayson into the doctor real fast, um, just so that I don't have to wait for all the changes and to get the new medical cards and whatever. I just wanna get it done. So I am taking him today. My parents are thankfully coming into town to watch Porter. I was literally planning on taking both boys because I didn't have anybody else to watch them. Anthony has to work. So I was literally gonna take Porter in his car seat and just put him in his car seat because I have a feeling I'm gonna have to like hold Grayson down for her to even like look in his eyes and ears and all that. But thankfully my parents are coming. They're gonna watch Porter for me. So I'm so happy about that. So thankful that they are here in Columbus and can watch Porter for me. So I will definitely keep you updated on how that appointment goes. Also, Porter today is eight months old. So we're gonna do a photo shoot for him and get all his updated pictures. I just weighed him, he's 19 pounds, so he gained another pound, which I'm not surprised I knew he would. Um, no doctor's appointment for him. We will go next month when he turns nine months old. Also big news is um, Anthony finally got his second vaccination dose. He was supposed to get it like a week ago and then work just kept him so busy. He had to delay it a week, but he did go get it and he did great. Like he said, it just made him really tired and his arm hurts, but that's it. Like no sickness, no throwing up, no nothing. So he and I really lucked out. I thought he might've gotten really bad symptoms just because he has, <laughs> he's such a baby whenever he feels like the slightest bit of pain, he's such a guy. Um, <laughs> and so I was worried that he's gonna be like down and out the whole day, but no, he did great. And so now we're both fully vaccinated and it's actually come out that vaccinated people don't have to wear masks anymore. I am so excited for that announcement because I feel like now we can go out in the world and everything's gonna get back to normal and I'm just so thankful for vaccines and so happy that life is gonna get back to normal, especially with the summer coming up, like it's gonna get hot. I really didn't have, wanna have to wear masks outside in the heat and uh, we've got wedding stuff coming up. So it's just so, so happy that that is behind us now and everything is going to slowly get back to normal. Back to Anthony's new job. So it is on the other side of Columbus. So we are actually, thankfully we did not buy a house yet, but we are actually gonna switch our search to the east side of Columbus instead of the north side of Columbus. So kind of changing up our plan a little bit, which is kind of throwing me for a loop. And so I have to do more research on what areas that we're gonna look for. We're in Dublin now. I think we might be looking more like Gahanna area, which I know nothing about. So it should be interesting. But anyway, life is just super crazy right now. I feel like my phone has been going off like crazy with just like, like wedding stuff my mom all these announcements about vaccinated people like it's just been so crazy so i'll try to vlog a little bit here and there as the day goes on but we're gonna go get porter actually i'll take you with me to go wake up porter he's usually the happiest right when he first wakes up so let's go wake up porter good morning sitting up. Oh, did you have a good nap? We're gonna have to lower his crib pretty soon. As soon as he starts pulling up on things, we're gonna have to lower yeah. it. Yeah, because he's sitting up all the time now and he crawls everywhere. Don't you? Are you ready for your photo shoot yeah. today? Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have Porter here with me. I had him sitting down and I don't know what it is, but lately I've been putting him down like in the playroom and I sit him down to like go and I just make great lunch. So I just did that real fast. And then he just ends up falling over and then crying. I don't know why he's doing that. But anyway, we did his photo shoot. He's got his little eight month sticker on. Did you like your photo shoot? 
Are you eight months old today? I will include pictures of that photo shoot here. Grayson over here. I made him lunch so he is eating. Say hi. Did you see yourself? You having milk? Kelly, my sister, got Grayson this really cute dinosaur cutout and saw all of his sandwich I can make into dinosaurs, which does seem to help him eat them better. So I made him a hummus sandwich. He's got some fruit and a cheese stick. And of course, he hasn't touched his breakfast except for the banana. I have been having the toughest time trying to get Grayson to just sit and eat anything. So I usually just have to like let the food sit out on the table and then eventually he comes back to it like an hour later than what I want him to. But oh my gosh, I just feel like my life is just going so crazy. Anthony is going one last time to Indiana. If you've been following this channel lately, you would know that for the past like half year, Every weekend, Anthony has to go to Indiana for work for Honda. That's a major reason why we are leaving Honda and going to Bath and Body Works because they do not require any travel. He will be home every weekend and it's no overtime. Honda, they paid for overtime. Um, Bath and Body Works is just a salary position. So Anthony should have a lot more time at home, a lot more free time, which is good because summer is gonna be busy. We have a lot of things going on. And then of course, starting in the fall, Grayson's gonna start school and sports. So I need Anthony home. So um, last time for Anthony going this weekend, it's sad that he's going again, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. We know that he is um, almost done with the weekend trips and we are just so, so thankful for that. Also, Bath and Body Works is fully remote until at least September. And Honda obviously was not, he was going in all the time. So he's gonna be home like all the time. It's gonna be amazing. Hopefully Anthony and I don't like try to kill each other from being around each other for so long. Also, another thing happening today, I just feel like my mind is so scrambled. Um, I have made it eight months exclusively breastfeeding Porter. I mean, obviously starting at six months, we started doing like baby food and all of that. But now that he has eight months, my supply has dropped and so I'm gonna start supplementing with formula. It's time, um, in about a month and a half, I'm gonna be leaving for like four days to go on a bachelorette party trip for my um, brother's uh, fiance. And so I'm not gonna be able to take Porter with me so I really need to wean him because I don't wanna have leaky boobs on this bachelorette party. So now it's gonna start the weaning process. It's time, my nipples have really been hurting, TMI. I don't know if he's just sucking a lot harder. He's gonna get teased soon, so he's gonna start biting me. My supply is dipping, it's just time. I was just trying to put it off because formula is expensive, as you all might know. So that is another thing. The only problem is Porter hates bottles. He likes my nipples way better than bottles. So it's an adjustment, but we're gonna work on it, huh? You say hi. So anyway, I will probably pick the phone back up at the doctor's appointment. Alaska. Oh, do you see Alaska on the wall? Oh, look, there's all the states. Is that the map? Just like how you have at home. At the doctor. Hawaii. You see Hawaii? Texas. Oh yeah, in Texas. New Mexico. Yeah. New Me so we're back from the doctor's appointment. Gray is picking up sticks. <laughs> Porter's enjoying the swing. Hi. Grayson's doctor's appointment went great. He did awesome. They checked his eyes. They had him wear like glasses that like blocked out one side and then the other side. <laughs> They took his height and weight. He is tiny, you guys. He's like in the 52nd percentile for height and in like the 37th percentile for weight. Like he is so tiny. His BMI is in like the 27th percentile. Like he's so tiny, but it went good. Um, they didn't see anything wrong. They thought he looked great. They checked everything. I was able to get the physical so he can go to preschool in the fall. They want to make sure he's up to date on all his vaccinations and, um, just good to go. So we got all that done and Gray did really good. He was a little rowdy. He can get a little antsy just being in one place for a long time, but he was good. So it went really well. 
Um, and yeah, we don't have to go back for another year now. He didn't have to get any shots. So that was always a good thing. I guess he doesn't have to get shots till he turns five. So we got a couple more years of, I guess one more year of no shots. So that's really nice. I promised Grayson that if he did really good that I would take him to get some ice cream. So we stopped at Dairy Queen on the way back home and I got him some ice cream and he loved it. And I'm just so glad that's over. Like it's been weighing on me and we went like a month late. He turned three at like April, in April and it's May. So it was a little crazy. So it was really nice. I'm so grateful that my mom was able to watch Porter for me and I didn't have to take both boys because Grayson was a handful. Sorry, I'm in the garage if it kind of got dark. But yeah, I'm so glad that's over. He's all good to go for preschool in the fall. So I'm so happy about that. And um, yeah, I don't have to go back to the doctor until this guy turns nine and then we'll go for his nine month appointment. So yeah, all in all, it went really well. What are you doing? That's your tricycle. Well, it's a tricycle because it has three wheels. He still hasn't quite figured out how to how to drive this or how to ride his bike either. Just can't quite figure out how to push the pedals. We're working on it. What do you think, Porter? Hi, Bubba. <laughs> yeah. This is a tricycle because it has three wheels. Tricycle. Yeah, your bicycle's over here. It has two wheels. 